I looked over and I saw smoke coming out of a residence. Today on Denver Police News, the door was open, smoke was billowing out. Two Denver Police Sergeants risked their lives crawling through an apartment fire to save a woman's life. We grabbed her legs and started to pull her out until we got her outside. Do you feel the need for speed? Find out where you can go to drag race without getting a ticket. Feel the car launch and it throw you back in the seat. It's a good time. And then I can have the next group. Mayor Michael Hancock and the city of Denver both support small business. Chocolate, cocoa powder, chocolate chips. We'll take you to a place that's been keeping Denverites cool for many summers. Have a good night. Hello everybody and welcome to Denver Police News. I'm Sergeant Steve Warnicke. A new report from the National Fire Protection Association says an average of seven Americans lose their lives every day to home fires. They often happen quickly and without warning, your entire place can be consumed with smoke. Well, that's exactly what happened to one Denver resident in May. Myself and my partner, Eddie Ledger, just left the district. We were driving southbound on La Pan. I looked over and I saw smoke coming out of a residence. There was a couple ladies standing out in front. So I go contact the ladies and I tell them, what's going on? Is there anybody inside? They said that there was a lady trapped inside. Isabel's inside. She's an elderly lady. So we ran over to the front here. The door was open and it was smoke was billowing out. I tried to go in and get low and the heat and the smoke was too intense. So Sergeant Lighthouser goes to the back door the victim's son is at the back door yelling for his mother, and he tells Sergeant Lighthouser, my mom's inside, my mom's inside. I jumped the fence to join Sergeant Lighthouser, and uh, we're right here at the back door, and smoke was coming out, and then um, Sergeant Lighthouser got real low below the smoke where he can see into the residence. And about 15 feet or so inside the house, I could see a pair of shoes on the side. I couldn't see if there's anything attached to him. He goes in, I go in with him. I told Eddie that I think I could see her. I grabbed her legs and started to pull her out until we got her outside. Someone said there was a dog inside and fire went in there and was able to retrieve the dog, transported the victim to the hospital for treatment and the dog was taken to a facility to get treatment as well. I've never had an experience like this. The, the smoke was real thick. You could really taste it in your mouth. I couldn't see anything. I could see where there was a stove. When I ran by it, I could hear the clicking and that's how I knew there was a gas stove, but I couldn't see anything else. Even when I grabbed her legs, I could see to about her knees, and that was it. I think that's everybody's job at some point is to care for others, and you know that's one of the things I think as a police officer that we can take with us, and I had the opportunity to save somebody's life, and I think it's a really, a really good thing. Amazing job, guys. It's true what they say about police work. You never know what's in store for you on any given day. Well, the crackdown is on. Every year in Denver, citizens are injured or killed in street racing accidents. It's not just racers, but innocent bystanders are often hurt or put in jeopardy from the reckless and deadly behaviors of these drivers. The penalties are stiff when you get caught, but there is a place you can go if you just have to put the pedal to the metal. Street racing is becoming a big problem in Denver, and if we catch you, you're going to get a big ticket, and we're going to take your car. There is a safe, legal way to do it. Take it to the track. We're up here at Vandermeer Speedway. It's a great night for racing. The Denver Police Department really encourages young adults that want to drag race to come up here to the CSP Responsible Speed Program. They can drag race in a controlled environment where there is safety, support. Here at Bandemir we've got a controlled situation where we've got medics on scene if something bad happens. The Denver Police Department has a 1996 Corvette that we use to race up here. We also have a 2002 Ford Crown Vic Lowrider. We have a 1963 Ford Galaxy. And then we also brought up a 1978 Nova. So you can come up here, get to know us, get to look at our cars, and then go out there and race a cop. I've been doing Bandemir for quite a few years. It's just a way to do what I love doing, going fast, and doing it where it's legal to do it. 
First thing when you show up to Bandemir, you gotta take your car through tech inspection. The car looks great, everything looks wonderful. And that's just making sure that your vehicle's safe to go down the track. Once you get through tech inspection, you can get in line to go down the track. They're gonna wave you up to the water box where you can do a burnout if you want to. You're gonna get three yellow lights and it goes yellow, 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 and then green. It feels pretty awesome to actually get the traction and feel the car launch and it throw you back in the seat. It's a good time. Racing the cops, now that's pretty cool. Heck, maybe you'll even see me out there. In Denver, small businesses are the backbone of the community. Mayor Michael Hancock is a champion of small business. And with the heat bearing down on Denver as the summer gets underway, there's a place you can go to get a sweet treat that also will cool you down this summer. What can I get for you? My name's Ken Simon, and I'm one of the owners of Bonnie Berry Ice Cream. I can have the next group. Bonnie opened in 1986. Do you want that in a bowl or a cone? We have over 80 plus ice cream flavors. There you go. We've never had a bad one yet. Comes to 650. Time changes people's tastes and we change along with them. The flavor we're making today is triple death chocolate. Chocolate, cocoa powder, chocolate chips. My name is Joe Hintzman. I'm a production manager at Bonnie Bray Ice Cream. I've worked here for almost 21 years. I started when I was 15 in 93 and I've been here ever since. It's my dream job. Denver Police Department has been really good to us patrolling the area. We actually got robbed two years ago. Very traumatizing, I mean, high school kids, uh, gunpoint, and the police responded within seconds, not even minutes, seconds. They've given us advice on how to set up the windows. Having cameras visible and in your face stops somebody from thinking about robbing the place. All right. I think our relationship with the Denver Police Department has been excellent. There you go. They've been helpful, they've been courteous, and they've been there when we need them. Have a good night. Thanks everybody for watching this edition of Denver Police News. I'm Sergeant Steve Warnicke. See you next time.